Blog Talk Radio. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. presents Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast, playing your favorite acapella gospel songs from some of the world's greatest acapella artists. So sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sounds of voices. Call in live to telephone 713-955-0508 or send us an email to srbutler1009 at yahoo.com. So who's riding with Stevie B on the blast tonight? You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This radio show, the 2018 nominee for the Nakama, the National Academy Christian Acapella Music Award. This radio show is being broadcast from the great state of North Carolina. This is Stevie B, and I'm the blaster master of acapella gospel music. And according to Yvonne, the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she says Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ in the world today, bless her heart. And my brother, Anthony Blunt, he's the radio host for the Gospel Train that airs on Sunday morning on 94.7 FM, WWBC, 1510 AM in Rockledge, Florida. He said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. And my brother, Ali Zell from Fayetteville, North Carolina, he says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella gospel music. I like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I can get this big iron bird up off the ground. I got me a new airplane, ladies and gentlemen. Taking off, and I'm flying 30,000 feet. But you can't be the blaster master if you're not dropping any bombs on your radio show. I said boom, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday night for the Lord. Oh, yes, we are. For the next three hours, I want to play some of your favorite acapella gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Dorian Paul, Committed Acapella Chorus, and many, many more. I want to hear from our listeners tonight. You can give me a call to the live show at 713-955-0508. Or you can also send me your emails to my new email address, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com and let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. I'm trying to lift up your spirits with these inspirational songs 
on a Friday night. That's right. It's Friday night. And Stevie B is playing acapella gospel music. So turn up your spiritual ear. Stevie B's acapella gospel music flash. At the bottom of the hour, I'll be playing my song of the week. We want to feature a song. Just tell you a little bit about the artist. We'll also be featuring on this radio broadcast, my funny bones. You know I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. Also during the broadcast, I'll be playing my shout it out. Now, these are just some people I've been in contact with, whether here on social media or folks I've been meeting in my local area right outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, who are listening to this radio show, and they just love what they're hearing, this acapella gospel music. So I'm just thrilled to be able to introduce. And I've been meeting some people who've never even heard acapella gospel music, so it's just been a joy for me to introduce this great music that we get to enjoy here on The Blast on a Friday night. So I just want to show them some love and just let them know how much I do appreciate their love and support for this radio show. I also have a new feature on the broadcast. That's my monthly triple spin. I'll be featuring an artist and just playing three of their singles for every show for the entire month of December. I'll also be featuring my listener's choice. And these are just some songs my listeners have told me they want to hear. So I just try to honor some of those requests. I also have a live spot and that will just be a live performance of whatever artists just artists interacting with the audience. So you got Stevie B loose in the booth on the ones and twos. On tonight's show, I have some new singles from Tere Max, Shady Kakaris, Daryl Smith, Shano, Angelina Hightower, One Hope in Christ, and Call by God Aquilo Ensemble, and many, many more. Also got some new funny bones that I'll be playing on the show tonight. But on tonight, since this is the first Friday of the month, we try to do the Story Glory segment. And my special guest in the Story Glory segment tonight is the Johnson family from Valdosta, Georgia. How are you all doing tonight? Wonderful. Great. Now tell us tell us who we have here on the air with us tonight. I'm Frank. I'm Alicia. I'm Naya. I'm Kaden. And I'm Brooklyn. And we are the Johnson family. And here come Layla. Who are you, Layla? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. You Layla. Okay. Now, now is Layla singing too? <laughs> she does sing. She 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 does cameo appearances. But now, she's going to be official member. Now, Frank, tell us now. How, tell us how this vision got started for the family. Okay. Um. Well, it 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 started with our 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 newborn. To be honest with you, uh, our firstborn. Um, which was um, two year, two year old Naya. Um, at two years old, she was listening to Soul Purpose and singing um, well before she was talking. So um, she followed um, she followed Soul Purpose and other acapella music. And after that, it was pretty much a snowball effect. Then came our second born, and he he kind of jumped in line. But I think it really took off when we were um, we were at at church and we had to sing a um, and that's Ava by the way that's Ava doing the she's actually okay. crying in soprano yeah she's crying in soprano so um, <laughs> she's going to be another little singer but we were in a um, we had a a gospel meeting we had a gospel meeting and um, Naya was around five or six years old and she took she took Leisha's spot and singing a solo because Leisha was with our third child at the time and um and she took over and that was it. We we, we knew we had something then when we were able to sing as a family. The fourth okay. child. Okay, I gotta make sure I have I'm getting flagged. Um Leisha said it, it was the fourth baby. I know we have a lot, but it was the fourth. <laughs> so, um, so it was the fourth child, but yeah, we saw it then. It was it was wonderful. Now, I have some questions that I want to pose to the family, and one of my dear friends, Linda Dilly, she's from Sand Springs, Oklahoma. She's been working with me ever since I started this radio show. She's been the one who's been uh, giving me the questions for the artist that comes on the show. So, we want to pose a few of those questions 
uh, doing our interview, okay? So we're okay. going to start off the show with a double play. Now, when we come back from this double play, we will ask you some of these questions. Thank you guys for riding with us on the blast tonight. Certainly appreciate it. All right. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. I have a double play. Start off the show with MIP members in particular featuring John Poo Malone from Athens, Alabama. This is their new single today from the 2017 album Unity Project. Now, we debuted that album here on this broadcast. That's episode number 53. I also did a recorded version of that live show, uh, episode number 10. You'll see that under my recorded version shows. And that'll be followed by Vondo Waller from Greenville, Georgia. Her single, What You Really Want From Me. I just love this song. This is from Vonda's 2008 album, So Glad You Blessed Me. Now, Vonda's making her way to the blast in the year 2020. The Lord bless us to see those days. Enjoy my double play, MIP members in particular, and Vonda Wilder. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Enjoy the show.
just in case you're still worried about your storm. Look at your storm right now and tell them, it will get to Jackie Smallwood. She lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Really enjoyed talking to her and her father the other day on Fort Bragg. Jackie Smallwood, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. I'm Lavinus Carter and I sing with Truly Blessed out of Atlanta, Georgia. You are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. We're United from Houston, Texas. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Yeah, 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Johnson family from Valdosta, Georgia. They're riding with us on the blast tonight. I'd like to welcome you all to the blast. Certainly appreciate it. Oh, yeah. We're excited to be on the blast. Yes, sir. Hey, hey now, I'm sorry I don't have any snacks uh, flying at 30,000 feet to give to the family. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, this is a new plane. I hadn't got everything worked out yet. I'm working on it, though. Oh, okay. Hey, we, we, we totally understand. <laughs> hey, but I did want to ask the kids, how are you all enjoying your newfound fame? You all, you guys are national. Um, It's super fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a very humbling experience. Uh, it's crazy how you can be in a store and somebody will be like, hey, you guys are the ones off of America Mo- America's Most Musical Family, aren't you? Right. How, are you all giving out autographs? People ask us every now and then or from time to time, and we do give them out because as long as they are supporting us in positivity, we are very happy to do that for them. I know this must be exciting for the family. Though I do have one of Linda's uh, questions I did want to ask you, though. Uh, what, are, uh, what individual qualities stand out among the different family members? Um, Caden had his hand up first. I don't think y'all can see his hand up over the airways, but now he's he's signaling it off and he's pointing it to me. Okay. Um, um, some some qualities that stand out. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go to my wife and say um, one of the qualities that stand out with her is she is our she's our stylist, and that's both for um, wardrobe and hair, and so she always gets us together. She's like the Tina Knowles of acapella music. <laughs> the Tina Knowles, huh? oh, that's right. Now, this is not one of the questions that I had for you, but I was just curious. How do you all go about uh, getting your events? Um, we, we, uh, they actually come to, to, to us. I think one, once we were, um, we were trending or um, we've had videos to go viral, then you have people that, that are interested in what we do. And so right. they will contact us. However, um, we have we've learned a, a few ins and outs of the the trade, and now we are actually going to be um, um, searching for events. So if anybody has an event that they want us to come to, here's my plug. Um, we'll be more than happy um, to 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 be at the event, be it a. Um, a revival meeting, whether it's a gospel concert, whether it's a youth program, uh, um, just a celebration. Period. We we will be there. In any well, event, another event too. Well, let me ask you another one of these questions from Linda Dilly. Then she, the question is: um, Tell the listeners now what's the Johnson family experience on YouTube? What's that all about? Anybody want to go this oh, time? Okay. The Johnson Family Experience is exactly what it is in the name. You get to experience our day-to-day life activities and our practices. So, like, sometimes on TV it can appear as, like, everything is all perfect and stuff. But on the YouTube page, you're able to see um, how we interact with each other and just our down-to-earth moments. I mean, our down-to-earth moments. That's exact. That's exactly what it is. I, I that was well said. Now yeah, I like that answer. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. I I've really enjoyed watching you guys on YouTube. It's just phenomenal what you all have been able to do in such a short period of time. You all didn't come on the scene until just recently, right? Um. Yes, sir. Um. To be about three, maybe four, three years, less than three years, more than now, three. Now was. Now was little on big shots now on the scene. Now on the scene. Now little now. was little big shots the first national televised uh, show you all were on. Um, yes, it was. Unless you count, unless you count CNN, um, Daily News. We okay. were on that. That's when our video first went viral, and they were looking for us. Matter of fact, uh, um, shout out to to Joe Caesar because while I was at work. 
he called me and said, Frank, did you did you hear about that? They're looking for you. And I, I didn't know who was looking for me. He, he <laughs> so made they're me looking nervous. for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're looking for me. So I, I kind of got nervous. But um, he, he said that, that Melissa Knowles from the Daily um, the daily news on CNN was um, trying to figure out um, who were the children that were going viral because we had a video, we had a video um, recording at at a Tamla Man's concert um, that her her children her children recorded us singing "Take Me to the King" and mm-hmm. um, after the concert. He they wound up showing um Tamala and or Miss Man and since then they they had posted that video and it, it went viral like it was lit we were literally watching it go viral um in real time and it wow. was going up very fast. I think we wound up getting like three million views like in within like two days. Wow, and, I tell you, yeah. Social social media has changed the game as far as entertainment is concerned. Because a, a lot mm-hmm. of people who are novice are really getting put out there because of social That's media. True. You know. That's true. Now I remember that seeing the family on Steve Harvey Little Big Shots. It was just the kids. So, uh, Frank, when did you and your wife decide you wanted to get into the act? <laughs> Well, initially it was it was it was a, a, a group effort. Um, okay. We um, we we would always we was we started off singing as a family, um, but okay. because of that show, that show was um, was geared towards children, and oh, okay. and so some people saw our video. I, I think there was some. They did. They saw a video of ours and they asked for the children on YouTube. So, uh, um, shout out to um, NBC's Little Big Shots for for um, recognizing um, our talented children. They are. Oh man, I can't. I can't um, put into words how how special I think they are. Um, I tell you, to, man, it was it was good to see that. You know, on on such a grand stage that way just from what people are seeing on YouTube and to be able to transfer that from YouTube to a national television audience. I I think that's pretty incredible. Oh yes. Oh yes. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Johnson family from Valdosta, Georgia. They're riding with us on the blast tonight and we certainly appreciate them uh, taking a little time to share with their experience with us here on this broadcast. After we come back from this double play, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask them on the show. Thanks, guys, for riding with us on the blast. We certainly appreciate it. No problem. All right. How how are you all enjoying the ride so far? Oh man, I like the ride. I don't need no I don't need no snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We I'm gonna have to work on that that snack. Well I lost my snack cart. I, I gotta find me oh, another one. We're gonna we gonna get that squared away. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for oh, riding with us on the blast tonight. Yes, sir. Coming up next, I got a double play vision from Houston, Texas. Their new single, Favor. I just love this song. This is from their 2019 album, While I'm Still Young. And this this song features Le- Andre Melton. And this group was the recipient of the 2018 The Camera, the National Academy Chris Dockfella Music Award. Contemporary Artist of the Year. That'll be followed by my man Monte Cuba from Houston, Texas. His single, The Shoulder, from this 2016 album, The Journey. And I just oh, did an exclusive interview with uh, Monte on this broadcast. It's episode 108. That was a great show. I really enjoyed talking to Monte on the show. And I also did a recorded version of the live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 27. Enjoy my double play, Vision and Monte Cuba. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. I'm nothing without you. Hey, I come on, somebody. Oh, I'm 
never seen before Amazing grace Behind every door I cannot escape God's love He pours it way down from above If you ask me how I made it this far I'll be sure to tell you But the Lord won't let you down You 
you've seen this place before Just wait on him To open up the door shoulder that you can cry on, yeah, I know it's hard sometimes to see the strength of him you cannot see, yeah, but if it wasn't for him, where would you be? Encouraged, my friend, he knows exactly what you need. He will be around. Oh, yes, he will. Hey, I'm talking about Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He will be the show. Shout out to Sergeant Shanae Williams. She's stationed out here at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Sergeant Shanae Williams, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Yo, this is Teray Mack representing Mack Music in Jacksonville, Florida, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This your girl, Tony Washington from Journey Acapella. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Johnson family from Valdosta, Georgia, riding with us on the blast tonight. Now, the Johnson family, you've been uh, following them lately here on YouTube. They've been nationally acclaimed on national televised audiences on CNN. They've also been on Steve Harvey's Little Big Shots. And just this past week, they was on Nickelodeon. Now, uh, Johnson family, I want to ask you now, what was the outcome of that show on Nickelodeon? Um, Well, the outcome, well, <clears throat> all, on our episode, um, we didn't make it to the to the to the semifinals, but we we gained a lot of exposure. And not right. only did we gain a lot of exposure, but we met some pretty amazing families um, throughout the show. So shout out to the to the Tonga sisters and the Malise Way brothers, and to um, the Reese family, the Holt Van. I got a I got a special shout out to to the American um, Hope Band. They are members of the Church of Christ um, up in Atlanta, and it was an automatic it was an automatic connection, and huh. and they were amazing. They were on the same episode as we were. Now is that is that the family that you all took a picture with? I seen a picture uh, backstage with a family. Was that them? Um, the I don't. Oh, that was the Sanchez family. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> we took a picture. We took a couple of pictures with a couple of families. We haven't we haven't posted them all yet. Um, okay. So if, if anybody if anybody is out on our social media, stay tuned because we're gonna be um, posting some more um, pictures and videos of our time in Los Angeles. Oh, so that's what the show was at in Los Angeles. Yes. Now, did we you all drive or fly? Angeles. Did you fly out there and <laughs> drove? We 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 flew um, to Los Angeles. I I don't know if I can do that drive. I think the furthest <laughs> that we've ever driven <laughs> was okay. San Antonio or Chicago. We 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 we've, we've driven to Chicago two times. Right. Well, I know San Antonio that. San Antonio is further. Okay. Well, I know this has to be quite an experience for the family with this uh, national notoriety. Okay. And it's all because of you two. That that's just incredible. Yeah, and um so not only with the not only with the exposure, um, did we did we get a lot of exposure, um, but um we're hoping the next big thing we're hoping and we're praying. We've 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 sent um some, some video in and a um uh, a couple of videos out on social media. We're trying to get on the Ellen show this Christmas. So Oh, okay. Um, we hoping that it's in God's is in God's will, and right. everybody that is on the airwaves that are listening to the Stevie B acapella gospel music blast, please say a prayer for the Johnson family. I know that's right. <laughs> hey, hey, it'll happen. It, it'll happen because you guys, it, it's just phenomenal just watching you uh, perform. I, I like that song you all did on uh, Nickelodeon. I thought that was a nice band you all put up. What you call it? The Johnson twist on it? <laughs> yeah. A J-Fam a a J twist or a J-Fam twist. Yeah. 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 That was pretty cool. But I did want to ask you about your recorded tracks. Now, do you all have a, a album released or you just did some singles? We We've done singles. Um, um, we haven't completed a full album yet, but if it be the Lord's will in 2020, uh, we're 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 praying that we're able to um, we're able to complete a a album. We got some some pretty amazing friends that want to help us out, and uh, so we are going to take them up on that. And um, I have so many shout outs. Shout, shout out to. Um, my little brother Mario, Mario McKinnon. Okay, I've heard that name in acapella gospel oh, music. Yeah. Now, once you all get that album complete, bring it back to the blast. We'll debut it here on the show. We. Be- oh, you know we will. Yeah. You know we will. Now, before I let you guys go, is there anybody you want to give a shout out to before I let you go? Um, Kata, who you got? Uh, Martin Thompson, Thomas, Uncle Martin, Uncle Martin. Okay. <laughs> he's so he's so nervous. Um and um uh shout out. Okay, um Layla, who you who you have shout out for? Uncle, Uncle Marty. Oh, okay. He, uh, shout out shout out to everybody who has followed us on this journey. Um, we thank y'all so much for the the love, the encouraging words. The prayers, the thoughts. Um, shout out, um, shout out to um, Ma- Martin Martin Thomas. Um, shout out to Mario McKinnon, um, Misty Bailey, or um, I got to get the last name right. Somebody help me out. The radio station, boy. They, oh my God. Houston. Okay, Houston, <laughs> Misty Houston. Uh, Melody, all of our church family, um, Melody, Bailey, um, my little sis, Dr. Charlene Block, our sister in Christ, um, Woodlawn um, Church of Christ. Um, Shout out to the Malone. Anybody else? Oh, shout out to Soul Purpose. Woo-hoo. Yeah, can't forget about shout Soul out to Purpose. Shout Jacksonville now. family. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's so much. This is so fun. Yeah. Oh, and shout out to Stevie B because y'all know what you're listening to. 
Appreciate you riding with us on the blast tonight. It's been fun. Thank you. We had a good time. Thank you so much. Now, Lord, say so. When you get that album done, we're going to try to get you back on here. We'll debut that music on the broadcast, okay? Okay, we sure will. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Johnson. Now, what's what's your next event that uh, we can be looking forward to seeing you on? Um, We don't have an event yet, so that's why we are um, hoping that all of the our church family that hears this, um, if you guys ever need a, a family a cappella group, um, we're just a phone call away. You can find us on all of our social media, uh, whether it's the Johnson Family on Facebook, the Johnson Family Experience on YouTube, or um, the Johnson Family on Instagram, JFam Music. All right. Sounds good. And we look, certainly look forward to seeing you guys. I love seeing your family, man. You, God has truly blessed you with some very gifted children and your wife. I saw your wife. She was doing a great job on Nickelodeon as well. I, I, y'all trips me out just to see you. <laughs> but you're able to do this. Yeah, <laughs> got, got it. that's uh, that's what it's all about. Hey, guys, thank you for riding with us on the blast. And I want to apologize for not having the snacks. And the little toys for the kids. I, I messed up on that right there. <laughs> but we certainly appreciate you riding with us on the blast tonight. Thank you. Thank God you. Speed, God speed and I pray much success in the future. All right? Okay. Yay. Thank you so much. You. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Johnson family from Valdosta, Georgia. Be on the lookout for them on the Ellis DeGeneres Show. Coming soon. Keep them in your prayers. Whatever ventures they decided to get involved with, we certainly appreciate them sharing their experiences with us here on the blast tonight. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Stevie B's acapella gospel music. Coming up next, we got my song of the week. This week, we are featuring Jerome Malone from, because he's featuring in this single, Commit Acapella Chorus out of Rogersville, Alabama, and Jerome is out of Athens, Alabama. This is from his single, from his 2003, rather, album, Trinity One. I did an exclusive interview with Jerome on the broadcast. That's episode number 33. Now, this is a single, Praise Melody. You're going to enjoy my song of the week. How many can testify this morning that the Lord is worthy of all the praise, the glory, and the honor? Gave his life on Calvary for a sinner like you and me. So we ought to just give God the highest praise just to tell him thank you. Y'all want to help me this morning? Won't you help me sing? Hallelujah. Help me sing. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's worthy of praise, glory, and honor. I'm gonna give him the highest praise for all of my days. Y'all don't mind, just let me tell you a few reasons why we've been praising. Come on. See, it's God that spoke us all up the morning. Yeah, clothes on the back, food on the table. Why we ought to give him the highest praise That ain't all he done, all he done He knows in his hands, knows in his feet For a sinner like you and me That's why we ought to praise him endlessly Y'all, we still deserve it no. Come on, we ought to give him all praise and y'all come on and help me sing this song right here. I said, let the spirit, let it rise. Come on, let the spirit, let it rise. The praises of the I King, he's a King. Well, I'm gonna, and if you wanna, we've got to I'm gonna let it ride. Let it the glory of the Lord. Sing on, let the glory of the Lord. You ought to let it ride. The Lord has been good to you. You gotta let it ride. Somebody say it. 
Cause the praises are what the blessings come pouring down So we gotta let it ride It's so good to sing Oh, 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 Sing this song right here. Come on. Tell them. I said, Lord, the people praise you. Say, Lord, the people praise you. You know we lift you up and praise you, Lord. Lift you up and hey, praise Lord, you. you are the Holy One. You yes, you are, Lord. You're the one. You're the only one. You're the one. You're the only one. I said, Lord, the people love me, Lord. Yeah. And we place nobody above you, Lord. Lord, because you are the Holy One. Hey, Lord, that you're the one, you're the only one. Come on, everybody sing hallelujah, hallelujah. All the glory is to you, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord, you are. Hey, you're the one, you're the only one. I said, if I had ten thousand tongues, if I had ten thousand tongues, I would bless you with every one. Oh, Lord, you are holy one. Oh, Lord, hey, you're the one, you're the only one. You're the one, you're the only one. I said, if I had ten. Thousand hands. If I had ten thousand hands, I would bless you as you come and oh Lord, you, you are the holy one. Oh, oh, you're the one, you're the only one. Lift those hands, let me hear you say holy, holy, hallelujah. Oh Lord, I said all the glory is due nobody but you, Lord. Yes, that's Jerome Malone featuring a mid acapella chorus. I hope you enjoyed my song of the week. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. My man Dorian Paul out of Houston, Texas. His single, Christian Life, from his 2016 album, Breakthrough. Now, I did an exclusive interview with Dorian on the broadcast, episode 81, and also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 21. We had a great time on that show. Really enjoyed talking to Dorian on the broadcast. Now, Dorian, in 2008, Dorian was in the camera. He had the album of the year, the song of the year, the best video producer of the year, and also the male vocalist 
of the year. 2008 was a good year for Dorian Paul. That'll be followed by Durant from Nashville, Tennessee. A single People Get Ready from the 2007 album Ride. I did an exclusive interview with Durant on this broadcast at episode number 37. I got a chance to talk to the Gooch. I also got a chance to talk to Melissa and our brother Anthony and a few other members of that group. That was a great show. Now, I just did a marathon show for Durant. Uh, that's episode number 151. I think you really enjoyed that show. That was a three-hour show of just uh, music from Durant. That was a great show. I also did a recorded version of that uh, live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 35. Now, in 2002, uh, Durant was the Cara, that was Cara Song of the Year, the song for People Get Ready in 2008, the Music Choice Award uh, 2012, that were the Christian Rockefeller Music Award. They received the uh, Video of the Year in 2014. They were nominated by Contemporary Acapella Society of America. They also had the Album of the Year and the Religious Song of the Year. Enjoy my double play by Dorian Paul and Durant. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. I bet you getting kicked it would be rough like me. Yeah. Bet you thought that you could make your old life seem. Yeah. Bet you wasn't ready for the turns and tweets. Yeah, yeah. Hey. That seems to be the statement going out all over this country. People trying to figure out just what to do. Cars on the table show don't look good. Want to do the right thing, looking at the wrong thing. Oh, the wrong thing looks tempting. But you said you was going to do right. But you didn't know you were in for a fight. And I'm telling you, what you talking about living? Maybe this Christian life. <laughs> You better get ready if you're talking about this Christian life. Oh, ain't no joke if you're talking about living this Christian life. But the fight is sure worth fighting if you're living the Christian life. Can't do this, can't do that. That's the very thing I want to do and that's a fight. Fighting these urges and these surges to get my money out and just go splurging. But the bills have got to be paid. I don't even know why I'm feeling this way. Said you was going to do right. But you didn't know you were in for a fight. And I'm telling you, you talking about a living.
She lives in Dallas, Texas. Now, Tabitha is the one who sent me a message. She said her and her mother was riding down the road listening to the blast, and she put on the blast, and those bombs dropped, and her mother almost jumped out of the car. I just thought that was hilarious. So, Tabitha Brown, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out and thank you for your love and support. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hello, I'm Thurman Metters with the Ministry Church of Christ Adult Chorus, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. What's up, everybody? This is Bruce. This is Demario. This is Cranston. This is Tori. And this is Jordan. We, we are Rain. And you're listening to Stevie B. This is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Coming up next, I got a single play coming your way. Commit Acapella Chorus is one of my power groups out of Rogersville, Alabama. This is their single, I'll Go, from their 2002 album, Committed. I just love this song. I did a marathon show for Committed. That's episode number 49. Committed has a great catalog of music. I think you really enjoy what you're hearing coming from this group. I also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 16 on my recorded version shows. Enjoy my single play from my power group, Committed Acapella Chorus. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Oh, yeah. I'll go. Oh, oh. 
to Denise Finch. She's a school teacher there in Charlotte, North Carolina. Denise Finch, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, what up, guys? This is Melody Bailey, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hello, family. This is Steve Adams, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. That means it's time to get our laugh on. Enjoy this comedian, Bean and Bailey. Service-oriented animals that are going to get in. Here, I did an experiment at the house. I called my dog the other day, and it came to me, and it brought me something. Okay. I didn't want it, but he brought it. All right. So I tried this with my cat, and my cat is rebellious. 
okay? It smokes. <laughs> ah, it does. Yeah, you've heard it meow. Um, you know, yeah. my cat's got a meow. Like, meow. You know, and, <laughs> and every time I let it out, it comes back in. I can smell the smoke, you know? Okay. And it comes out back in after it's smoke and sits on the window sill, you know? Like, I'm not going to do anything. But so I tried calling my cat the other day mm-hmm. to see if it would, it would be a service, like, you know. And so yeah. I called, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. And my cat looked at me like, what is that? Oh. And then it gave me another look like, as if to say, don't do that again. Yeah. Or I'll kill you. Oh. And like, I got scared for a minute. But I'm okay. like, I'm not going to be scared of my cat. And right. so I tried it again. I said, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. And my cat stood up on its hind legs in the windowsill and looked at me and said, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> that happened at my house. And I'm just thinking to myself that it's the service-oriented animals that are going to get in. Okay. Have you and I ever been at the airport and we've seen a drug-sniffing cat come through? Okay. No, we have not seen a drug Yeah, there's sniffing. a reason for that. Have you ever left your house in the care of a watch cat? Okay. No, I haven't. I get your no, point. No, because okay. the cat's just going to let people steal all your stuff. The cat's just like, just don't touch my smokes, and you can take whatever you want. Okay, okay so you've made your point. I think have I... we ever been crossing the street and seen a C&I cat? No, because no, people would be left dead everywhere, okay? Okay. okay. be like, you know, they don't know where they're going, you know? Okay, you made your point. That's all I'm saying. And I'm thinking this. Look, if, if people even describe it that way. If, if you're tired, you say, I think I'm going to take a, a cat nap, you know? Okay. As if to imply, if you're acting like a cat, you're doing nothing. Okay. But if you worked really hard that day, mm-hmm. you're going to say, I just worked like a... A dog. Okay. Right, you see what I'm saying? Theologically, I know that works don't get you into heaven, but faith without works is dead, and I've never seen my cat. <laughs> yeah, you've been listening to my funny bone, because laughter is good for the soul. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, The Sweet Sounds of Voices. Cruising at 30,000 feet, ladies and gentlemen, and because I'm so high, I guess I better go ahead and drop some bombs. I said, boom, boom. Acapella Gospel Music. Yes, I have a double play coming your way. One Hope in Christ out of Louisville, Kentucky. Their single, Amazing. This is that new single from their 2018 album, Make a Wave. Now, also did an album debut of that album here on the broadcast, episode number 72. Also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number seven on my recorded version shows. Now, this group was the recipient, the 2018 recipient of the Nakama. Uh, National Academy of Christian Fellow Music Award, New Artist of the Year. You're really going to enjoy what you're hearing coming from this group. Now to be followed by a call by God a fellow ensemble out of Nashville, Tennessee. That new single, Yes, is on the way. I just love this song. Now this song features Dwayne Pugh from Dallas, Texas. And this song is from their 2019 album, For His Purpose, produced by John Poole Malone. I did a debut of that album here on the broadcast, episode 134. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been having a great time here on the Blast here on a Friday night. Also did a recorded version of this live show, episode number 32 under my recorded version shows. Enjoy my double play from One Hope in Christ and Call by God Acapella Ensemble. You guys, Stevie B, on the ones and twos.
Whatever you say Hello everyone, this is Sebram Branch, a solo artist and also a member of the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus. You're now listening to Stevie B's Music Blast, acapella style. Enjoy. Welcome, this is Garrick Edison of the acapella group One Hope in Christ, straight out of Louisville, Kentucky. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast radio show. And he's dropping bombs. Oh, boom, boom.
Hi, this is Yvonne Gooch, owner of Blazing Crackers, and I am a proud sponsor of Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Blazing Crackers, stay on fire. You need a treat. You're hungry. You need some meat. So you need treat, you're hungry. Show up hungry, need some name. Blazing crackers, B L A Z I N crackers, yeah. 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 Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Coming up next, we got my monthly triple spin for the month of December, and I'll be playing these singles for every show for the entire month of December. FGFCC, future grown folks present. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to love these singles I'm playing from FGFCC. The singles, Grace and Mercy, that'll be followed by It's All About You, and that'll be followed by Holy and Reverend. Enjoy my monthly triple spin for the month of December. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. His amazing grace. Forget about yesterday and what happened then. Look ahead to the future and forget about our past things. God has promised us and He won't take back. So you better come get it and you better come get it back. Come on and get to the grave. You are the God. Why I'm always smiling and happy It's because of all the joy that's deep down inside me Come from all the grace and mercy my God gives to me It's available to you too, but you have to come and see Come get your grace It's free to all mankind Get your if you want to get mine Don't stare yourself on this grace don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Up your mind. Your mind. Up your mind.
you, 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 Become the Lord's people, you are in the light. So you must live like people who belong to the light. For it is the light that brings a rich harvest to every kind of goodness, righteousness, and truth. So, young people, try to learn what pleases the Lord. In verse 14, that is why it is said, Wake up, O sleep. Wake up. Now, Lord, we know that it ain't nobody but you. You're always there on time to see us through you, 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 That's why right now, forever and always you, 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 Gonna lift our hands up high and give you praise you, 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 Lord, Said I know that it's all about you, Lord, you. Lord, Young people everywhere need to wake up and give God the glory should go and when he is old he shall not depart from it the bible also says in psalms 111 and 9 that holy and reverend is his name name. Righteously and more abundantly Defeated death So that I can live eternally And now I'm mortal like combat But the battle is already won And if you claim on this name Then you already son See if you ain't got God then you need it It is written can't be defeated Turn away from iniquity Seek me you'll get the victory Picture me in a white robe Serving my savior All of us need to all work together That's able So that the tables can be turned On this evil we face it Unite and reach we fight in God's, God's will. will. Ah. Holy and reverend is his name. To him we have Christian glory. I gotta praise his name. To we need to testify what God has done in our lives. To him speak the glory. Others can see his greatness and his work. So how homie, he brought me to the right. To him speak the glory. Struggles in my pain. To him speak the glory. How can the world know about me? Why I'm not ashamed. To him speak the glory. How can they find out about my Savior? That city is so high. 
Hey yo, let me speak a little something that I don't mind telling. As a young man delivered from weed and crack selling, ever seen a felon? Well, guess what? You looking at him, but I ain't dwelling in the past. I'm just counting my blessings. See, I know we have a father in heaven who built the world in six days and rested on day number seven. No question, he has the whole world in his hand. With his master plan, he desired to save man. Let me help us understand and show you what I mean. Just open your Bible to John 3, 16. You see, my Lord so loved the world that he came. This opened up the door for us to be saved. But it doesn't mean man is already saved. Just the road to salvation is already paid. See, the wages of sin is death. We all sin, but baptism is for the remission of sin. He commands all men everywhere to repent. Straight and narrow is the gate. But we gotta enter in Or you don't wanna enter in Well that's your choice He spoke on this wise My sheep Here is my voice If it wasn't for it his wasn't love And his all love of his graces I'd still place. be selling he drugs I'm no still incarcerated yeah, But I'm not no. My Lord has made a way for me He is blessed forever And to him be the glory ah. Holy and reverend is his name To him that's be my the soul. glory I gotta praise his name I'm just a young man trying to help somebody along the way. To him be the glory. The city so high. The city so high. Homie, he brought me through the rain. See, my God has been too good to me for me not to give him the glory. That's why I would help give God the praise. Amen. All glory goes to God. Yes, all glory is for God. Yes, all glory. Hey, this is Melissa Lancaster with the singing group Durant, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Troy Marable of Made New Acapella in Louisville, Kentucky, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Hey. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Yes, coming up next, I got a double play from to Ray Mack from Jacksonville, Florida. His new single, Thank God. Now, this song features Amber Baldwin. She's a member with uh, to Ray, this group, the New Testament acapella ensemble. And I think she's out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Now, this single is from Therese's 2019 EP entitled Rich. Now, we debuted that EP on the broadcast, episode 146. I think you'll really enjoy what you're hearing from Therese Mack. And that'll be followed by Daryl Barnett out of Los Angeles, California. His single, Devil, You're Going Down. Devil, You're Going Down, from his 2018 album, Way to Go. And we debuted that album here on the show, this episode number 61. Also, we had a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number eight. Enjoy my double play from Teray Mack and... And Daryl Barnett, you got Stevie B on the ones and twos. One time for my G-O-D. One time for my G-O-D. Yeah. One time for my G-O-D. One time for my G-O-D. So many times that we take you for granted You gave strength to the weary and power to the weak And though we are not perfect, your favor doesn't cease No, through the fire and through the rain You lose all the shackles, you broke every chain You 
are a sovereign God I'm indebted to you forever Lift up your name I'm not afraid because my law will never fail Whatever weapon form God will prevail If you ever wonder how my God is so fly These are the reasons why He sent his son to die on the cross Yeah, yeah He would not be lost And then we I don't know. thank God for that Hard times, no stressing This a lesson I got Jesus So I keep so I'm gonna keep pressing in yeah. I don't worry about my enemies Because I'm a hater I'm a elevator Thank God for that Remember where your help comes from Thank God for that Thank God for that Thank God for that over. I'm in awe of your power, Lord, your ways are so amazing. I'll forever be indebted to the way that you love me, Lord, and I'll forever praise your name. I don't know why you love me, but I am forever grateful for the times that you have made the way you cover me. I know it's by your grace and by your favor I have victory, and now today I'm strong. Because you touched me Father, if you ever really wonder why I'm fly Here are the reasons why I It's just a on the cross So we wouldn't have be lost And then we would have died Hard times, no stress in the soul Like I'm Jesus, so I keep the breath Yeah, 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 yeah I don't worry about my enemies Because I'm a hater I'm a elevator God, but Thank you. 
Orlando Tisdale, a.k.a. Mookie, and you are listening to me on Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, everybody. We're We're the the Jackson Jackson family. family. I'm Frank. I'm Alicia. I'm Naya. I'm Kaden. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Braylon. I'm Lila. And that's Baby Ava, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. <laughs> Is your congregation in need of lending for a building or expansion project? As your partner and advocate, Diversified Financial Network will take the time to understand your unique situation and develop a financing solution that meets your specific needs. It's an exciting time for your congregation, and what you need is a company with expertise in church financing early in the process. Call us today at 1-866-513-6665. Or visit us at www.diversifiedfinancegroup.com. This is a program reminder. Stevie B's Media Production presents. We're airing live shows here on Blog Talk Radio each week. The first Monday of the month, we are at the live show, the Gospel Light Radio Show Special Edition. That show will air from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and one of my co-hosts will be giving a lesson from the Word of God on that broadcast. And then on Tuesday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm hosting a live show, What a Word from the Lord, radio show. And each week we'll have a, a guest speaker from the Brotherhood of the Churches of Christ who will be presenting lessons from the Word of God. Also, we have a community corner segment, and that segment for small business owners and entrepreneurs who have products and services that they're offering to our community. Also, my co-host, Edward Bishop from Niagara Falls, New York, and my co-host, Mark N. Skelton from Indianapolis, Indiana. They'll be presenting lessons from the Word of God on that broadcast. And then on Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live show, the Gospel Light Radio Show. And I have nine co-hosts on that show who will be presenting lessons from the Word of God. And each week, two, two of my co-hosts will be on the air with me. I'm also taking questions from my Shout It Out platform on social media, Facebook, that I'll be posing to one of my co-hosts on that show. And then, of course, on Friday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central, I'll say 6 to 8 Eastern Standard Time and 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live show, Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast Radio Show. And I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists on this broadcast. And we try to do once a month the Story Glory segment like we did on tonight's show. We had the Johnson family on the show earlier in the broadcast from Valdosta, Georgia. And we're also debuting new music. And on next Friday night, we'll have Daryl Smith. He's one of the former members of the Four Christian Stars. He'll be debuting some new music on the broadcast. And also we try to do the Top 20 Countdown show. The next scheduled Top 20 Countdown show will be on December the 20th. I'll be counting down my Top 20 Acapella Gospel Songs for the month of December. This will be the last countdown show for the year 2019. Also, we got a marathon show that we're doing. We're featuring artists. We're just playing their music for the whole show. And the next scheduled marathon show we have is on April the 24th, year 2020. 
the Lord bless us to see those days. You can uh, get all my on-demand episodes if you can't catch any of these live shows on Blog Talk Radio. You can go to wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from. These shows can be picked up now on a variety of podcast uh, platforms. You can go to Podcast Addict. You can go go to Listen Notes. You can go to Himalaya. You can go to Podcast App. You can go to LinkedIn. Also, Beat Port. You can go to Pod Bay and Chart Table. But I try to uh, send people to Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Apple iTunes because I just love their features. And also, you can go to acaradio.net, iwayradio, mccbroadcasting.com, ibcbroadcasting.com, YouTube, uh, Church TV Network. Uh, also, on my YouTube page, go to uh, Stevie Butler, a Stevie oh, Butler, aka Stevie B, and pull up my on demand episodes. You can also go to World of Acapella and on D Surf. And I also want to give a shout out to my sponsors who are sponsoring these radio shows and appreciate them. Uh, my sponsor, Cheryl Norwood from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, my sponsor, Bethesda Memorial Crematory Services out of DeSoto, Texas. Certainly appreciate them. And my sponsor, um, Diversified Financial Network out of Dallas, Texas, LLC. And the owner is Mark and Charlotte Carroll. And my sponsor, Stanley Phillips. He's the owner of A Touch of Class Pearl in Little Rock, Arkansas. And my sponsor, Cheryl Murrah from Charlotte. North Carolina, and you want Blazing Cracker Gooch from Nashville, Tennessee. The three E's of Stevie B's Media Production, it is the objective of this broadcast. We want to educate, we want to edify, we want to encourage you in a study of God's Word. And that will conclude our program announcements. Now let's get back to the show. You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming up next, we got my funny bone. You know I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. Enjoy this comedian, Marcus Wiley, Bishop Secular. That man may see your good. Listen, it was lit out there. You hear me? But here's the thing, y'all. I looked at my watch. It was time for the game to start. I said, hey, man, the game about to start. Y'all ready? My boy looks at me and says, shoot, we good out here. <laughs> I said, what? He said, man, here go the tickets. If you want to go, go on, go in. But we good out here. I said, let me get this straight. So we at the game. <laughs> but we not going in the game. What I'm trying to get you to understand is that the fellowship outside yeah. is so contagious, so loving, so given that you don't even have to come inside. And y'all, we living in a culture now where people, man, they ain't coming to church. They ain't coming. And so we got to take all the good preachers and the teachings we didn't learn inside, outside. Got to take them outside. Right? Because I grew up in a time where church was mandatory. You had to go. Like this, you had to go. It was the only thing open on Sunday. <laughs> Have y'all noticed how now everything open on Sunday? But back in the day, wasn't nothing open on Sunday. Now people have the audacity to put stuff on Sunday. Yeah. So church was mandatory when I was going up, but today it's optional. It's optional, man. It's optional. One of the biggest faux pas the church made is when we started streaming. Now, don't get me wrong. We had to do it. Keep up with the time. But that was, that was a terrible move because I know what streaming was originally for. Streaming originally was for if you're sick and shut in, log on. If you're on vacation and you still want to hear pastor preach, log on. But church, I mean, but work and worship, it's like the same thing. So it's, it's like until your boss saying, look here, man, you ain't got to wake up early. Find something to wear. Fight traffic. You can just stay at home and 
what you gonna do? You you gonna log on, right? So that's so that's what that's what these folks doing. However, even though the universal church attendance has fallen off, I still see some churches where attendance is still good. I pass by some churches outside parking lot still full. When I go in, still full of people. And I think our churches can learn something from these churches. These churches are Costco, <laughs> Sam's, Walmart, Target, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, yeah. These churches right here, stay packed. What can we glean? What can we learn from these churches? Take Star, I mean, take Costco and Sam's. Y'all, when I walk into Costco and Sam's, what I like about them is that they allow me to be me. Watch this. When I walk in, I show them my card. I'm a member. They allow me to be me. When I walk in, ain't nobody saying, pull your pants up. (laughs) Take your hat off. Tie your shoes. Don't get me wrong. I'm for rules. Rules matter. But sometimes we got to look at these rules at the church. I'm still struggling with the Ten Commandments. I know I'm the only one. I ain't got them down yet. <laughs> and you're going to put some rules on top of the rules that I don't even have together yet? We got to look at rules. I like Costco and Sam's because they allow me to develop on my own pace, not your watch. You know, church folk got to wait. By now, you should be. <laughs> what? They let me develop on my own pace. I love Costco and Sam's because they have sample stations. Oh, man, y'all don't go to these churches. They got samples. (laughs) What they do, they let you sample stuff first before you make a commitment to it. And I just think the church, man, before you put me in a year-long orientation, (laughs) I don't know how long y'all orientation is. I have no idea. But before you put me in this orientation, let me sample first. I think people need to come to church and start sampling. Like, if you want to sing, you should just came up here this morning. Right up here with us. No choir rehearsal. <laughs> they looking at you. Who are you? I'm just, I'm just sampling. I'm just sampling. I don't know if I want to be a part of this shit. I heard y'all messy. No, I'm, just, I'm playing. I'm, I'm. <laughs> yes, you've been listening to my funny bones. Because laughter is good for the soul. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. I hope you're enjoying the flight on the broadcast tonight. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. I said boom, boom. Gospel music. Coming up next, we got my song of the week. This week, we are featuring Jerome Malone, featuring Commit Acapella Chorus from Rogersville, Alabama, from Jen Jerome's from Athens, Alabama. And this single is taken from his 2003 album, Trinity One. I did an exclusive interview with Jerome on the broadcast. That's episode number 33. That was a great show. Really enjoyed talking to Jerome on that show. This single is called Praise Melody. Enjoy my song of the week from Jerome Malone. Hallelujah. 
How many can testify this morning that the Lord is worthy of all the praise, the glory, and the honor? Gave his life on Calvary for a sinner like you and me. So we ought to just give God the highest praise. Just to tell him thank you. Y'all want to help me this morning? Won't you help me sing? Hallelujah. Help me sing, yeah. Yeah. No, he's worthy of praise, glory, and honor. I'm going to give him the high praise for all of my days. Y'all don't mind, just let me tell you a few reasons why we should praise him. Come on. See, it's God that woke us all up the morning. Yeah, clothes on the back, food on the table. You look unstable. Why we ought to give him the highest praise? That ain't all he done, all he done. He knelt in his hands, knelt in his feet for a sinner like you and me. That's why we ought to praise him in this sleep. Y'all, we didn't deserve it. No. Mm-hmm. Come on, we ought to give him all on praise. Hey, y'all, come on and help me sing this song right here. I said, let the spirit, let it rise. Come on, let the spirit, let it rise. The praises of the I King, He's our King. Well, I'm gonna, and you wanna, we gotta, hey, oh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna let it ride. Let the glory of the Lord sing, let the glory of the Lord sing, you ought to let it ride. The Lord has been good to you, you gotta let it ride. I'm pouring down, so we gotta let it ride. If so, what is the thing? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta let it ride. Help me sing this song right here. Come on. Tell them. I said, Lord, the people praise you. Lord, the people praise you. know we lift you up and praise you, Lord. Lift you up and praise you. Lord, you are the Holy One. Yes, you are, Lord. You're the one. You're the only one. You're the one. You're the only one. Come on. I said, Lord, the people love you, Lord. Yeah. And we place nobody above you, Lord Because you are the Holy One Hey, Lord, you're the one, you're the only one Come on, everybody sing Holy, holy, hallelujah All the glory is to you, Lord Oh, Lord, you are Hey, the Lord, you're the only one. I said, if I had ten thousand tongues, I would bless you with everyone. Oh, Lord, you are the Holy One. Oh, Lord, you're the one. Say if I had ten thousand hands, if I had ten thousand hands, I would bless you as you come and oh Lord, you are the holy one, the holy one, you're the one, you're the only one. Lift those hands, let me hear you say holy, holy, hallelujah. Oh Lord, I said all the glory is due. Yeah. The Lord, I said, you're the one, you're the only one. Yeah. You're the one, you're the only one. Yeah. Nobody but you, Lord. I said, you're the one, you're the only one. You're the one, you're the only one. You're the one, you're the only one. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. You're worthy, Lord. 
I hope you've enjoyed my song of the week. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. The Four Christian Stars. The Four Christian Stars. Now, the song that I'll be playing after this single, actually I'm going to have, uh, well, the next two songs after this single will be from members of the Four Christian former members, rather, of the four Christian stars, Daryl Smith and Shane O'Borton. Now, Daryl uh, has a new single that will be debuting here on The Blast next Friday night. Daryl's going to be a guest on the show. So looking forward to talking to Daryl on the show. So the four Christian stars out of Hallandale, Florida, this is their single, Jesus is Coming, from the 1992 album, See His Face. Now, we did an exclusive interview um, with the manager of that group, Al Pratt, uh, and Al is also the founder of the Nakama Awards, the National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Awards in Jacksonville, Florida. And that uh, award show is put on every two years. So the last one was in 2018. So in 2020, Lord willing, they'll be doing another Nakama Awards. Nakama Awards. Now, following that song will be one of the former members, Daryl Smith of the Four Christian Stars, his single, Man's Gift. And this is a new single from Daryl. And next Friday night, as stated, uh, Daryl will be on the show debuting another single that he has, okay? And that'll be followed, well, after I come back from my break, I have another song from another former member, Shane O'Borton, of the Four Christian Stars as well. So right now, we're just going to have the Four Christian Stars, and that'll be followed by one of the former members, Daryl Smith. Enjoy this double play. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. I know that Jesus coming again, coming to set my soul free, oh, I gotta get ready, cause it's coming real soon, coming to set my soul free, oh, I know that Jesus is coming again, coming to set my soul free, coming to set my soul free, Thank you. 
wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Dodge Burnett coming from Charlotte, North Carolina, representing Testament, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Hey, this is Amber Baldwin from Greensboro, North Carolina, representing Testament Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Hey, this is Crystal Stevenson from Greensboro, North Carolina, representing Testament Acapella, and you are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. This is Joe Caesar from Valdosta, Georgia, representing Testament, and you listen to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. This is Teray Mack out of Jacksonville, Florida, representing Testament Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. <laughs> Coming up next now, here's another member. I got a double play. There's another member of the four Christian stars, Shane LaBorton out of Hollywood, Florida. And this is his new single, You're There. And I think you really enjoy this song from Shano. And that'll be followed by Stephanie Booker Wilson from Greensboro, North Carolina. This is from her 2007 album, Simply Stephanie. And her single, See the Sun. I think you really enjoy this single from Stephanie. Now, I did an interview with Stephanie on the broadcast, episode 115. And I also did a recorded version of that live show. I believe I believe I was having some technical difficulty on that, so I'm not sure. But I did a recorded version of that live show. That's episode number 29. Now, uh, Stephanie's a member of uh, Soul Purpose. She's been a member of that group about five years now. I thought she just joined the group, but I found out she's been there at least five years. So enjoy my double play, Shano and Stephanie Booker-Wilson. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. <laughs> Save me from 
into each life. Some rain has got to fall, but the sun will shine after a while. So Hey everybody, this is Eric Gwynn, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey family, what's good? This is East Sage with Straight Company. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Blast, the master blaster. <laughs> Go ahead on. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Pooh Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Hey. You are in the mix 
with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Yes, coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. My man, Jerry Barnett out of Cedar Hill, Texas, his new single, Nothing Without You. Now, this song is from uh, uh, Gerald's, um his, his new album, 2019 album, He's All Right. And we debuted that album here on The Blast. Uh, this episode 100, 153. I also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 36. Great album that Daryl has. I think you'll really enjoy this song. And this single features uh, Dwayne Pugh from Dallas, Texas, and also Malcolm Hines. Uh, I believe Malcolm's from Houston, Texas. Uh, yeah, and I also did an exclusive interview with uh, Gerald on this broadcast, episode 77. I think you really enjoyed your hearing coming from uh, Gerald on the broadcast. And that'll be followed by Angelina Hightower from Boston, Massachusetts. This is her new single, He's So Good. I just love this song. I did an exclusive interv- interview with Angelina on the broadcast, episode 136. That was a great show. Enjoy my double play from Gerald Barnett and Angelina Hightower. You got Stevie B. On the ones and twos. In him do I live, move and have my peace. In him do I live, move and have my peace. In him do I live, move and have my peace.
Shout out to my dear brother, Robert Lee Johnson from Thomasville, Georgia. He's one of my co-hosts on the Gospel Light Radio Show. Robert Lee Johnson, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Gerald McLean, Chorus Director of the Church of Christ United and Psalms Worship Chorale from Atlanta, Georgia. You are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. In four, three, two, 
Hey, this is Dorian Paul, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ooh, wait. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Coming up next, I got a new single from Shady Acre Chorus out of Houston, Texas, Sounds of Love. It's from the 2019 album, Surrounded by Love, featuring Frank Melton III, formerly of the Melody Airs. Now, this, was, now, we're still waiting for this album to be released, and once they get released, we're going to try to debut that album here on the show. And this group is making their way to the blast in the year 2023. The Lord bless us to see those days. Enjoy my single play by Shady Acre Chorus. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos.
want to give a shout out to Lasagna Carter Charleston. She sings with the group acapella group Truly Blessed out of Atlanta, Georgia. Lasagna Carter Charleston, Stevie B wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Stevie B's Hello, this is Mike Dow from Card by God Acapella Ensemble, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. And you, yes you, can hear our singles, Get Behind Me Satan and Brighter Day, right here on Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hi, this is Jeremy Roberts, singer of No Mistakes and Album I Forgive You, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. What the laughter means is time for my funny bone. You know, I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. Enjoy this comedian, Michael Jr. Fire right after that, man. <laughs> you ever have a job that you want to quit and then your boss, they want you to give them like a two weeks notice? I was like, yo, boss, two weeks from now, you're going to notice I ain't been here in two weeks. So we're having fun, right? We're laughing. This is so cool, right? I was asking a question, and I asked God, I said, why, why do we laugh? What causes us to laugh? You ever wonder what causes us to laugh? So this is what happens when we laugh. When we laugh, we have expectations. <laughs> and then there's an alteration. And then when we realize this has happened, we have a revelation. This is really what causes us to laugh. It also causes us to learn as well. So when I named the series, when I, when I named the title of this teaching, I named it the third act. Because in every movie there's a third act where there's a resolution, where you figure it out. You've seen everything else. You saw the alterations. You saw the expectations. And now all of a sudden you have a, the third act. So listen, I'm not that complex. When it, I mean, God's going to not make that thing that hard for me. So I'm looking at the third act, and I was like, huh, let me go to Acts 3. And I read this story in Acts 3, because I look at things separate, different sometimes. My teachers tried to tell me I was less distic. <laughs> I'm not going to explain. I'm not going to explain. <laughs> so I get to this story in Acts 3, and I realize all of these elements are there. The expectation, the alteration, and the revelation. So I asked Pastor Steve Doolin, to read this for you guys, and we're going to kind of work together to read through this, so you can just grab hold of what this is. So, Pastor Steve's going to come out, man, this is my dude, he's so cool. Yeah, you can clap if you want to. So, um, so he's going to read Acts 3, 1 through, I don't know what it is, he don't want to read it. So, um, so if you could just read, that'd be awesome. This is the story. So the story is, let me set it up real quick. The story is a guy who is, um, he can't walk, and his boys take him and they lay him there so he can beg for money outside the gates. Peter and John come by, and he asks them for some money, and they're like, yo, we don't got no money, and then they heal him in Jesus' name. Go ahead, tell the story. I mean, read it. You ain't telling it. I just told you. I can do either one. <laughs> cool. cool. Okay, hey, man, I'll why read. do you have one of those? Like, they, they don't have them in brown. I don't know what that's about. Like, it's only a, like, because if I wear it, it looks like I got cut right here. It looks like I got cut right here. I don't know if I trust that guy. He used to be. But go ahead. Go ahead. It's cool. Gave me the, the black mic. You see how that works? That's cool. <laughs> Go ahead. You can read it, man. What you waiting I'm, for? I'm waiting to read. I'm, I'm just standing here. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the 3 o'clock prayer service. Okay, wait a second. So this is... I'm going to need you to do something different, though. I forgot. I got this right here. It's actually a version of the Bible that I created. What, Bible, what version are you reading? This is uh, New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Cool. I got the New Hood Translation right here. Um... <laughs> 
I'm going to need you to read from the hood trance because some of my boys are probably watching online. Some of them locked up. Yo, I'm glad you got internet in there, man. <laughs> I need you to read from this translation too, just so they can understand. So you read that translation and then this one so they can understand more clearly. Go ahead. Go ahead. So start with yours. And then, okay. I mean ours. It's not yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, go ahead, cool. go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the three o'clock prayer service. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. Yeah. Pete and John rolled up to the spot about three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what, all right, cool, cool. Keep going, go ahead. As they approached the temple, a man lame from birth was being carried in. Each day he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate, so he could beg from the people going into the temple. Cool, cool, next version. A dude with a limp that wasn't a pimp. Right, 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 right. He had a limp, but he, he wasn't a pimp. It was just a natural... I'm, I, sh I shouldn't have to explain this. I shouldn't have to explain it. But you, go ahead, go ahead. Go I, I don't ahead. think you can say that in church, Michael. But you just said it, so... <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why I didn't say it, because Pastor Robert is watching right now. That dude is tripping, man. I don't know why he's reading this stuff. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. A dude with a limp that wasn't a pimp was chilling on the flow. You have no idea what flow is, do you? We're standing on the flow right now. So, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to change this just a little bit. A dude with a limp that wasn't a wimp was chilling on the flow looking to make some cheddar. Yeah, yeah, exact cheddar, cheddar, cheese, money, cash. Come on, man, you got the other version? <laughs> I'm just trying to read the Bible, man. I'm just, cool, cool. What I thought I was supposed to be doing. Yeah, I'm sorry that I made uh, alterations to your expectations right now, but if you could just read the, that'd be awesome. Go ahead. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter and John looked at him intently, and Peter said, look at us. Hmm. All right, go. Do the other version. So they started mad dogging him. Like, no, 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 mad dogging. You know what a mad dog is? Let's do it. I'll show you what a mad dog is right now. You look at me. Like, I don't know what mad dogging is. I'm mad dogging you right now. If you would stop talking for a second. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. okay, it's okay. You got nervous. I could tell you were scared that I was going to do something. Anyway, yes, you've been listening to my funny bone. Because laughter is good for the soul. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Well, ladies and gentlemen, according to the clock on the wall, it's time for me to bring this big iron bird on down to the ground. I got to bring it on down. I got to bring it on down. the hang of it. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I said boom, boom. Gentlemen, this is the part of the show where I have to say good night. I really enjoyed playing these inspirational songs and tickling your funny bone on tonight. I want to thank my special guest in the first segment, the Story Glory segment, the Johnson family from Valdosta, Georgia. Certainly appreciate them taking their time out to ride with us on the blast tonight. That was a good interview. I really enjoyed talking to them on the show tonight. I also want to thank my listeners for riding with us 
on the blast tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this show is being picked up all over the world since, you know, it's on the Internet. So everybody's either tuning in through their cell phones or their desktop computers or laptops. I just think that's incredible, that the reach that this show has. And I certainly appreciate everyone who's been supporting this broadcast. You cannot deny what you're on the blast on a Friday night. I'm playing the world's greatest acapella gospel music artist, the sweet sounds of voices. But I want to thank most of all the God of heaven to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me the privilege. And it is indeed a privilege to be able to spend this time with you on a Friday night. So until we meet again, may God continue to bless your lives and may bless you real, real good. You've been listening to Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Let me hit you with three pieces before I get up out of here. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> And I'll see you, Lord, say so, on the other side. Good night, everybody. God bless you. You've been listening to Stevie B's Acapello Gospel Music Blast. Episode 156.